everyone, welcome to you traders. So we've been talking about Ethereum and now I'm going to talk a little bit about Bitcoin. Ethereum is 50% off its all-time highs. Bitcoin is coming off the highs. The high was almost 3,000. We're currently trading about 2,300. So it's about 700 bucks off the high. Different, nowhere near as violent as Ethereum, the move. However, this is getting interesting. Let's have a little closer look at this. If we stick a Fib Fibonacci retracement on here, by the way, I haven't got it set up for Fib. I've got it set up for 25% purely because that's kind of how I like to frame. Uh, some, as you know, I have got this one set up for fibs. Excuse me, it's set up for fibs. So we have uh, a pullback off highs, and you know we're coming to kind of levels where things get a little bit more interesting. Now, my take on these cryptocurrencies is that I believe there's a utility value to Bitcoin. I believe this blockchain is a good. There's a lot of venture capitalist funding coming in. It doesn't look to me like it's a complete flash in the pan it looks like it's here to stay in some way or another however speculating on bitcoin long um isn't just the case of just sticking your uh you know pin in the in the chart and going long wherever you feel like it there you've got away with that kind of not too badly for the past year or so but now as we start to accelerate and if you look at the way these these charts tend to go you know they, they get a bit of warmth going to them they get a bit of acceleration pull back accelerate again then you get the real kind of explosion that almost it's almost like the biotechs that come out with news which isn't that good but people are front running it talking about news that's come to come out five years ten years twenty years down the line getting all excited by it and it feels a little bit like this with bitcoin if i'm honest there is undoubtedly some value there but this kind of explosion this easy money trade we need to unwind that from the chart um and if you think about the people who are involved in bitcoin now yes there's a lot of people who are seasoned traders seasoned veterans seasoned investors however there are a lot of people buying bitcoin they've never speculated on anything in their life and they're getting involved in it and generally speaking this is a generalization when you have a flood of new people coming in who have never experienced loss never experienced anything but one way move then the moves are generally exaggerated to the downside and that's kind of what we see saw with ethereum i guess being a second tier cryptocurrency um, you've got a different demographic of people in there. So anyway, let's look at Bitcoin from a technical perspective. I've drawn this kind of little uh, trend line here. I think we're in a sort of head and shoulders situation at the moment. If you can look at it from a technical perspective, I think it, you know, it, it's feasible to me. It makes sort of sense. There's a pure supply demand there, and there's a lot of news-driven stuff coming out. But you know, if we start to break through this kind of 2250 level or even this low here 2100 or even the tw you know the, the 2000 level that's going to be a line in the sand there's going to be a lot of people who have got stops there who are going to look to sell thinking that you know that's off the highs from 3000 to 2000 that's a pretty decent pullback um so from from a perspective of trading ideas is it a case of you know wait till that breaks and maybe look to buy on a flush where everyone thinks it's completely dead that would make a little bit of sense if we flush out some of these these chasers these gamblers these quick buck uh, kind of guys who have got into it don't realize how far it can pull back and would i short it um i've thought about this and i don't think i would i think there's definitely opportunity for it to go lower but it's still got to respect the fact that where we've come from and where we are now you know at the beginning of the year we're, we're around 750 dollars we're now up at two and a half thousand dollars that's a decent move not to say we can't retrace back but it's gaining momentum and an interesting thing very quickly supply demand issue is you've got people who are using it as store of wealth now that's fine whether that's valuable to do that or not is a different argument but the point is that takes it out of the circulation of bitcoin and because it's a finite circulation then it's getting more and more expensive to mine when people are storing significant amounts of wealth in it all they're doing is is reducing the supply there can't be any more produced after we get to that peak point and it's getting more expensive anyway so more and more people who are getting involved in it are taking the supply away and the more and more people the demand that's coming in is kind of double-edged sword because you're getting demand coming in they're then taking supply away that's bringing in more demand that's taking more supply away and this kind of is how what i feel we've got here with this ramp run up so there's possibly a lot more to go from this but m maybe we need to shake out a few of the the kind of people who, who just who just had it so good it's just been running and running and running 
Uh, on the flip side, let's look at this completely objectively. If we do hold here and we don't trade anywhere near the 2,000, or if we just kiss below it and then shoot straight back up to 3,000, that's obviously a bullish sign. Obviously, a lot of people are there considering it as a buy, and we can separate it from the Bitcoin Ethereum thing. I think they're kind of becoming uncoupled a little bit more now. Ethereum was ramping off. It was a bit more of um, a speculator's cryptocurrency. Bitcoin is possibly for a more experienced dare i say that there are some there are some more experienced players in bitcoin as well as some you know less experienced speculators so they take that into account um so that's really my take on it i'm i'm i think it's it's got good potential i would like to see this kind of do a, a good flush and flush people out then find a base before sort of creeping back up then i would look to perhaps um, buy for further push to highs but it feels like it needs this unwinding this is healthy for the chart um, it's healthy for the whole thing it, you know I wouldn't have liked to see this just rip straight off to 5,000 because I think that's just going to cause a lot of pain for people but let's see how this develops we're right at this neckline now we're right near this key level of 2,000 well we're not too far off it we have tagged it before let's see how it deals with this low this low this neckline and then make a judgment from there. Obviously, if it holds and starts to push back up highs, we've got a bullish thing on our hands. If it doesn't and starts to shake people out, you know, rather than short it, wait until that resolves and then look for the resumption of the trend. So that's my kind of take on Bitcoin. Let's see. Whatever your perspective, guys, you can't deny that it's interesting to watch. Pure supply demand, seeing new people coming in, seeing old people coming in, to the different arguments. I think it's a really good thing uh, from a trader's perspective to watch in both Bitcoin and Ethereum. But in a watch your space, come back perhaps another week or two or a month or so, and uh, we'll see where we are uh, from there. By the way, guys, you can now trade Bitcoin on Intertrader, and actually the spread is pretty good considering the kind of moves that we're getting in in Bitcoin. That's not a bad spread at all. Uh, to find it, you just go straight into your market search. Yeah, this is for the by the for clients of uh, Intertrader, CFD, or the spread betting platform, Bitcoin, and then it comes up. Uh, I'm using the CFD at the moment. Comes up, and then you've got it here, and then you can trade and place your order as normal from that or use your charts. But interesting, pretty decent spread, stops, and all that kind of stuff. Um, so worth a look if you are an Intertrader customer. And if not, go and check it out.